If you are an engineer or a designer, you know that pushing your product out the door on time is one of the most important aspects of your or your employer's business. The more familiarized you are with the design tool, the more your productivity and efficiency increases, as does your value as an employee. Whether you're designing a single sheet schematic or a multi-layer PCB, Altium's ease of use makes it easy for us to transform our creative ideas into reality. Here are some design shortcuts you should know when using Altium Designer. In the schematic workspace, using the P key on our keyboard will give us the same result as the place command, which can be located in the menu bar. After pressing the P key, press the W key. This is how we properly route electrical connections from object to object on our schematic sheet. Very similar to the command of place wire in the schematic workspace, we are also able to quickly place signal layer traces in the PCB workspace using the P key followed by the T key, which will result in the place trace command. This command saves ample amounts of time when trying to route several individual traces. When routing a trace, you will eventually have to place a via to switch layers and continue routing. Instead of canceling your routing action and using your cursor to place via from the menu bar, you can simply hit the plus key on the numeric pad during the routing to place a via on the next available layer, saving you time when routing traces on multiple layers. In the schematic NPCB workspace, using the J key will bring you to the jump command. The jump command allows us to relocate our cursor based on the desired location or component. Following the J key, press the L key. This will result in the action of jump location, which we can then specify the coordinates we would like our cursor to be located. As explained for jump location, the jump component command is a useful command because of its global schematic broadcast. When using the jump component shortcut, it will direct you to the component you are searching for based on its designator, and it will redirect you to the schematic the component is located on. The command is also available in the PCB workspace. To access the jump component command, press the J key followed by the C key, which it will then prompt you to enter the designator of the component you are searching for. Grid selection is crucial when placing and routing components on the schematic and PCB workspace. This will make sure your objects will snap to the workspace grid when placing them in your design. To toggle your grid, press the G key to switch between the default 1, 5, and 10 grid. One grid size is equivalent to 10 mil. These defaults can be changed if desired. Setting the origin placement in your PCB workspace can be very useful when creating a board outline or looking to set the origin to the location of a specific component. This can be very helpful to situate yourself in your PCB workspace. By pressing the E key, this will place us in the edit command, followed by the S key, which is the set command. Finally, the O key will let us set our origin. The new origin can now be set anywhere in the workspace. For more videos and information, please visit our website at www.cadmicro.com and our social media platforms.